so welcome to our uh, the BM lecture series. And uh, I think this is uh, the the fourth lecture. Yes. And uh, every uh, uh, Tuesday, mm -hmm. um, we uh, after uh, in, in Beijing's time it's uh, uh, the, the evening. And uh, I think the in Egypt time, in it Paris afternoon, time it's just afternoon. afternoon. Yes, in afternoon. Yeah. Yes. So so normally every uh, Tuesday. Tuesday we will have the the one lecture and this lecture may cost about two hours and uh, the probably one hour later we will have ten minutes uh, break and then we will continue. Uh, so welcome all you to join us and uh, I know now it's in it's a Chinese uh, Spring Festival holiday so. Yeah, so it's, it's why, why good to see all you here. So then let's give the, the uh, state to Professor uh, Rashad. So it's your turn, please. Okay, thank you, Paul, for this introduction. And today we have uh, the fourth lecture. And today uh, I'm planning to uh, talk about uh, potential problems. Uh, just let us see let us start so today we'll talk about potential problems in 2d actually so we started with 2d problems in the previous lecture we started uh, uh, talking about uh, index notation so we started uh, for higher dimension more than one dimension. We moved to higher dimension more than one dimension. In potential problem, we will start with indirect formulation. Then we will move to direct formulation. The best thing about the indirect formulation, we will have also some notes about the, the discrete indirect formulation or, or what we call it the method of fundamental solution. Solution. Actually, this is a meshless technique. And it is very easy. Even we will solve a problem, we will solve a problem uh, using Excel. We can put it on a spreadsheet. It's not a problem at all. Okay? Uh, potential problem, the easiest, uh, the easiest uh, physical problem that describe potential problem is heat, heat problem. For example, the, if you take something like a room like this, and this room, you have the temperature here, for example, equal to something like uh, I'm going. I'm going to use the word U instead of T for the temperature is much better. Uh, this is a temperature. U is a temperature for the potential. I'm going to give it like zero, and here is U equal, for example, 300, and this uh, side of the wall is insulated and the other side of the wall is insulated also, that means du by dn equal to zero. du by dn equal zero, that means there is no transfer in this direction. There is no transfer of the heat in this direction. This term, we call it flux, the heat flux or something like that, and we give it the word Q. We give it the word Q. So uh, I'm interested now at any point inside here, any point X inside here, <coughs> I want to compute U at X at any point. And this problem you have here, X1 and X2. So you have here X1 and X2. At, at any, any point, I'm interested to compute the temperature at this point. Actually, once you have here insulation, and uh, here insulation and u here equal zero and u here equal 300. So actually this problem is linear in this direction. 
the temperature is linear in this direction. So uh, the governing equation for this problem is very simple and it is the Laplacian of u of x equal to zero. This is the governing problem. From where it, uh, from where it comes is easy, it's not a problem. It's not our problem now. Uh, it's not our concern actually now. But what we want to solve this problem and this Laplacian is very well known. It is d2 by d x1 square of x plus d2 by d x2 square of x. This is apply on u of x equal to zero.